How was the Yellowstone Season 5 trailer? Well, it was pretty dang good. What's more, it was watched by a lot of people. If you haven't noticed, Yellowstone has become a pretty big deal. And as a result of that, the show is anticipated like few other shows on main cable today. So when the trailer came out for the highly anticipated Season 5, things were going to be interesting, no matter what. But even the creators of the show were no doubt shocked by how well their new trailer did, as it was breaking records from the word go. So imagine what it'll be like when the episodes air. Number 6. The Records Hype for Yellowstone Season 5 is through the roof, and one number proves it. The trailer for the fifth season of the hit show with Kevin Costner recently dropped, and according to a release from Paramount Network, the Season 5 preview put up 14.4 million views in the first 24 hours of being public. That is the most watched trailer in program history, and it's three times as many organic views as the Season 4 trailer. The trailer also garnered 1.7 million engagement, which is six times what the Season 4 preview did last year. To put it as simply as possible, people cannot wait for Season 5 to start on November 13th, and the trailer was more than enough to set the internet on fire. If those numbers carry over to the season premiere, it'll be the biggest premiere that Yellowstone ever had. And it was already quite a jump from Season 3 to Season 4, so if the increase is on that trajectory, look out. And not just for the ratings, but what'll happen in Season 5 as some of the cast were talking before the trailer even came out. Number 5. Rip and Beth Rip, Cole Hauser, and Beth Kelly Riley might be married now, but don't expect that to have a major impact on things when Yellowstone returns for its fifth season. Beth has always been devoted to Rip, Kelly Riley tells EW in an interview. Marriage does not change her. I think his love for her and hers for him is one of the very few things that keeps her demons at arm's length, mostly. It does, however, make their living situation a bit more official. The first thing it changes is that he's moved into the main house, which is somewhere he's never really been that comfortable, Kohlhauser says. It's a weird thing to think that John Dutton, Kevin Costner, is actually related to him now through marriage. And as much as a married couple tends to look to the future, Beth and Rip will have to deal a bit with the past in the new season. What I like about what Taylor Sheridan wrote is that he slow burns this year with me and Beth, Hauser says. In the beginning, there's some wonderful moments between the two of us, some stuff that she's going through in her past that she's having to acknowledge for the first time, and me trying to help her through that. Riley adds, the war feels internal this year for her. She's haunted by the past, afraid for the future, and fighting with all she has for the present moment. The Duttons are known to fight for what they want and want to keep, and that leads us to number 4. Casey's Future Casey, Luke Grimes, will find himself focusing on life on the reservation for as long as he can. When you meet him in Season 5, he's off the ranch, Luke Grimes says. He's sort of almost happy. He seems like he likes his little life on the res with the family. But as the story progresses, you realize he can't stay away for too long. Something calls him to take care of that legacy. There's also the matter of Casey's vision, which is still on his mind when Season 5 begins. In true Casey fashion, there's no relief from the sort of rock in a hard place that he's in between, Grimes says. As for what fans can expect from the season as a whole, Grimes adds, every season has felt incredibly different. I think that's the beauty of Taylor's writing. He knows how to make this show take every twist and turn it possibly could and to keep it so fresh. Every year has felt very different from the last. While it's not surprising to hear that something new will arrive in Yellowstone for the fifth season, things are going to get much different due to a new position of power a certain person is in. Number 3. Governor John Dutton When John Dutton, Kevin Costner, is in a position of power, his many enemies should be very, very worried. And when Yellowstone returns for its fifth season, John Dutton has a lot of power. Paramount just released a trailer for the hit drama's fifth season, which sees John sworn in as governor of Montana. His first order of business? Firing everyone and surrounding himself with family. The trailer shows John specifically appoint Beth, Kelly Riley, as his new chief of staff. As for the family's black sheep, Jamie, Wes Bentley, seems like he might be back on John's good side. Or at least John's not completely ignoring him. From there, the trailer gives fans a glimpse at the show's usual drama, broken beer bottles, tears, and the like. But one couple gets a few sweet moments. Beth and Rip, who were married in the season 4 finale, are seen enjoying each other's company, although they aren't always happy. 
There's one moment in particular where a worried Rip holds an upset Beth which begs the question, what is she upset about? It could be the fact that Caroline Warner declares that she wants to ruin Beth in the trailer, or it could have to do with Beth's past. Additionally, the trailer provides a couple hints that Casey and Monica might not be able to stay away from the drama at the ranch for too long. Casey can be heard saying, I do this for my father. While a beaten down Monica is seen saying, when I say we give everything to this land, I do mean everything. She's not wrong, and it might tease something else that happens. Number 2, 1883. The most important moment from the finale of 1883 was a line of dialogue delivered by a veteran actor appearing on the show for the first time. Graham Greene played Spotted Eagle, a crow elder who tries to heal Elsa Dutton's wounds. If you watched the February 27th episode, you know how that worked out, no spoilers I promise. Central to his exchange with the Dutton family and the conversation he has with James Dutton as played by Tim McGraw. The family patriarch makes it known he's urgently looking for a place to rest, and Spotted Eagle points him toward Paradise Valley where Yellowstone fans know John Dutton and company ultimately reside. The favor comes with a caveat, however. In seven generations, my people will rise up and take it back from you, Spotted Eagle says. Dutton says that in seven generations, he'll gladly give it back, but how far away are we from meeting the seventh generation, or have we met him or her? Fortunately, we do have an answer. Creator Taylor Sheridan addressed the topic during the Road West behind the scenes episode that aired in January. According to Sheridan, James Dutton is John Dutton's great 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 grandfather. So, following the timeline and the generational line, our John Dutton Costner is the sixth generation, and that means Casey and Beth are the seventh. Will this be talked about in season five? Well, it's hard to say given all that is going on in the trailer, but perhaps one of the wars he's fighting is against the local tribe. Perhaps John abuses his power to keep his family land safe. We'll have to see what he does. Number 1. Power Has a Price As the end of the trailer showcases, the phrase power has a price will be a big part of this new season. John Dutton has put the biggest target possible on his back and his enemies are going to do everything they can to ruin him, his family, his ranch, and so on. So what will the Duttons do to band together and stop the madness that is coming their way? Who will they get to ally with them to ensure that John's reign is as great as possible? What other dangers will the Duttons have to overcome? November 13th can't come quickly enough. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the Yellowstone Season 5 trailer and its viewing numbers? Were you one of the people who not only watched the trailer for Season 5 but watched it multiple times over? What are you most excited for with the upcoming season? Let us know in the comments below and we will see you next time on the channel.